Why isn't it possible? It's just not. Why not, you stupid b The first thing to say here is there is no shame in this particular idea that if you have a squared plus b squared equals c squared, shouldn't it also be that a plus b equals c? This misconception is so common, it has its own Wikipedia page. If you search for freshman's dream on Wikipedia, you can see an actual page dedicated to this idea that if you have some power of x plus y in general, shouldn't it just be equal to x to that power plus y to that power. The second thing to say about it is, much though we might want it to be true, just numerically speaking, it's not. Think about a simple sum like 10 plus 1. We know that 10 plus 1 is 11. Is it also true that 10 squared plus 1 squared is 11 squared? And the answer is no. 10 squared is 100. 1 squared, of course, is just 1, but 11 squared is not 101. It actually ends up being 121. Or think about it the other direction. There are lots of powers of 2 that add up to another power of 2. 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared, for example, is a true statement. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, and 9 plus 6 16 is 25, which is 5 squared. But is it also true to say 3 plus 4 is 5? No, it's not. So we can see it doesn't work numerically. But it's definitely worth talking about. If it seems to us so clearly that this should be true, and yet numerically that it's not, why not, right? What is it that's going wrong? One way to figure out what's going wrong here is to think about this geometrically. If we know that a plus b is equal to c, you could think of these as lengths. A length of a and a length of b that happens to make a total length of c. So this part is the a, this is the plus b, and you can see that they match up with c. If what we want to say is that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we're literally saying the a square, the square with a length of a, plus the b square, the square with a length of b, needs to be equal to this larger outer c square. But you can see that's not true. The a squared takes up this upper left-hand corner, and the b square takes up this lower right-hand corner, but then there are these two empty boxes that we're not accounting for. It's actually precisely these two rectangles that account for our example earlier. Why 10 squared plus 1 squared is 20 less than the actual 11 squared. Yes, the 10 square has an area of 100, and the 1 square has an area of 1, but then these other two rectangles would be 1 by 10 rectangles, each of which has an area of 10. 10 plus 10 is 20, and that's why our sum was 20 units off. Again, there should be absolutely no shame and wondering about this, the next best thing to being right is being wrong in such a way that you get a page on Wikipedia.